Welcome to Taiwan. It's a it's like coming home for me. Welcome to Machines and More, and welcome to Taipei. Uh, it's a rainy day here in Taipei. You probably hear all the, the, the scooters and the cars and the thunder behind me. But uh, we are near wheels on the ground, finally. I arrived last night and uh, you know, managed to get a couple of uh, hours of sleep last night. And speaking of sleep... They say there's no place like home, and really, there's no comfort like one's own bed. Let me tell you about a bed that you just might want to own. Today's video is brought to you by the FlexiSpot Adjustable Bed Base S5. And just like the height adjustable desks that FlexiSpot makes, this height adjustable bed base allows the user to dial in a customized fit. And no matter what your preference is, the adjustable foot and head angles allow you to get a better night's sleep, all at the touch of a remote control. There's a zero gravity preset and underbed LED as well as uh, retainer bars on the sides to keep the mattress in place. I was really impressed with the quality of the steel frame and the upholstery here as well as the ease of installation. And you can even customize the height of the bed by varying the legs. The motor is durability tested to 10,000 adjustments and can handle a load of 750 pounds and you do have a 10 year warranty. There's a 30 day risk free return period. This bed is made to last and FlexiSpot stands by it. You could also pair this with FlexiSpot's overbed table. This one is height adjustable as well and ready to customize for your perfect early morning routine. So please check out my exclusive link down below to help you get a great night's sleep. I grew up here in Taiwan. My, most of my extended family continues to live here and Taiwan's like my second home. Haven't been here for a couple of years since the uh, pandemic, but now that things have relaxed, we're heading to Computex this year. All right, so the bus should be here in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay dry here. It's a couple minutes uh, from the Kunyang uh, MRT station. All right, just got off the bus here and uh, almost here at the Cooler Master office. We visit our good friends here. All right, and it stopped raining. We've arrived at the headquarters of the Cooler Master. Taipei, this is Nehu district. There's quite a few tech companies around here. This building is really interesting. You see the outside. It is, it's got a theme, an industrial theme, but it's also got an organic feel to it. You've got heat sink plates on the outside. They've graciously offered me a behind the scenes tour of the office. Let's go take a look. This pillar here in their garage, looks like a stock cooler. Cooler Master makes some of these, right? So we're in their main lobby here. Nice. High ceilings, plenty of natural light. Their lifestyle products, some of them are on display. You got some really neat looking builds here. This is an Orb X. This is a, the immersive gaming environment. Here we'll take a look at some of these custom builds here. These are really neat. Lots of work has been put into making this a space that employees can be proud of. Floating decoration here, this looks like uh, fan blades. So the cooler bar is there, the restaurant on site. It actually is open to the public. You can just come down here, down these steps, and uh, go in and have a look if you want. It is, or have a bite to eat, complete with the uh, infinity themed display here. You'll see this quite a bit. Robotic shark custom build here. It's a mini ITX board. It's got a PL240, I think. A mini ITX build in your future. Of the future. Cooler master wine cooler. It's also a space where employees can kick back, relax, so got that heat sink theme going on here. And this is a space that's bright, it's open, and fine. 
couple of other builds on this play here. This is the MA622 we just reviewed. Got a TD500 here as well. Okay, folks. Didn't think such a thing existed, but there is a Cooler Master themed or Cooler Master food truck. It's the cooler bar right behind me, and it is uh, used for different events and functions. Right, we're going to head into the main part of the office right now. This is the front desk. Got the infinity mirror, and the side also has that heat sink, uh, heat fin motif going on. Last year was Cooler Master's 30th anniversary, and with all these products in its portfolio, something to celebrate. All right, so I didn't sneak in. The marketing folks brought me through officially. All right, so the inside of the elevator looks like the infinity mirror on their CPU pump block. I'm not sure if this changes color throughout the day. All right, so this, this is amazing. This is the main floor, the fifth floor, and you can see all the way to the top, bright, open, airy space with these organic shapes, kind of free flowing. I don't think this is a living wall per se, but it's certainly green and it uh, does complement the space nicely. So we've got more of these free-flowing organic shapes here. These metallic balls here on display. In the middle of the open space here is an area for lectures, learning opportunities. Within this office, there's a lot of these polished black, mirror black, shiny surfaces. So 30 years, this is a timeline of the company from its simpler beginnings to its very comprehensive portfolio today. And these are some of the earlier cases. Look familiar? They are in setup mode here, so I've been asked not to show too much, uh, but this is gonna be one of the expo areas for Computex. Really bright open air space here. A lot of decoration. It's a meeting room. Yeah, the conference room looks like facial recognition here. It's soundproofing. Oh, there's the heat sinks on the, that we saw from the outside. Detail of the heat fin here. Wouldn't be surprised if the cutouts increase heat dissipation. Well, this is a classroom space, also like a collaborative work area. Okay, I was told that I should check out the restroom. The heat sink motif going on here. They're really serious about the cooling here you know, cooler, master, and all that. Okay, not where I thought I would end up on this tour, but I guess you gotta check out the plumbing, the custom loop, so to speak. The open loop works just fine. All right, so before we finish up our tour here, I did get a sneak peek of the preparations underway and some of the products they'll be showing. They're still getting this ready, so I don't wanna show too much of the a work in progress. Took a liquid cooled charging station here. All right, so the fans aren't running, but uh, when it does, you'll be able to see the airflow. It's like a wind tunnel. All right, so this display is showing some of the differences in the form factors and the power density. And the very high power density from something like the V1100 SFX here. New GX3850, I got to check out. No exposed screws here, very polished looking. 90 degree 12 VHPWR cables are coming for the V1100 SFX. So it's a space that's fun and innovative and definitely one that's conducive to letting those uh, tech creative juices flow. One that is also very much befitting of a company that has embraced a tech lifestyle culture here as their mission. And as our journey comes to an end, I'd like to thank Cooler Master for taking the time out and the uh, wonderful employees that I've met here. Uh, they've been very busy getting ready for the show, but uh, still had time to give us this exclusive behind-the-scenes tour here. And we'll be back, of course, uh, when Computex starts. But until then, I'll see you in the next Machines Around the World. <laughs>